apologize for taking a break but the new year and turning 27 during the pandemic became all the more overwhelming but here we are back to the grind to provide you everything about movies and more in 2021 the first of many releases that i saw was the bugs barg of krishna directed courtroom drama titled nail polish that released on the z5 platform this movie with stars actors such as arjun rampal manav kaul anand tiwari and rajit kapoor focuses on the case of the mysterious death of migrant children over the last 5 years in uttar pradesh when there is a revelation of two more brutal killings the much respected veer singh played by manav kaul is accused of the gruesome act what follows in the court hearing with several revelations regarding the case ulterior motives and the psychological condition of the accused is what nail polish explores i am a sucker for well done courtroom dramas and knowing the praise that this film has been showered with i was intrigued to understand what this movie had to offer i have to confess while being a brilliant attempt at focusing on so many facets of the human condition i found nail polish to struggle to become superior than many of the films that you can draw parallels with through this video i'll tell you what did and didn't work in the film so that you guys can ultimately decide whether to watch this film on z5 or not technical details first i'll just get the minor details of the film out of the way One of my biggest pet peeves in films is when extras are given a scene in a film to act out. While some of these individuals from the supporting cast are trained professionals, the sequence of nail polish where it showcases two students who identify burning bodies is so hammy and over the top that it took away from the morbid and rather ghastly situation. There is also a list of moments which from an editing standpoint stuck out like a sore thumb for me, and those were the sequences of outbursts where there would be a character transitioning to sudden rage or physically hurting themselves or someone else. Where the camera cuts away from the point of impact it from an editing standpoint takes away from the intended reaction from the audience of utter shock a great example of a similar sequence done well is from hereditary where peter out of nowhere slams his head in the classroom to the utter shock of the audience the performances A quality of nail polish that is undeniable are the convincing performances of the ensemble cast. It was refreshing to see Arjun Rampal in a lead, especially in a role that demands so much from him as a performer. Rampal as the aspiration but cool, calm and collected lawyer Siddharth Jaising commands that aura that would intimidate his peers in the same room. Anand Tiwari provides a perfect contrast to Jaising as Amit Kumar, the prosecution in the case that understands the pressure of the case and how important it is in the grand scheme of things to win. Rajit Kapoor as the judge does a commanding a job even though his personal battle is something that confused me rather than develop empathy within me for him it is undoubtedly manav call is veer singh the accused who puts forth such an exemplary performance manav call is one of those actors who has assimilated in different worlds with such conviction that you often undermine what a capable artist he truly is the range he possesses and the ability of him not to steer his performance to become caricaturous is truly exceptional you will be in awe of his body language and confidence in front of camera an actor we get to see little of but deserves to be seen so much more the onset and the insight into personal lives my biggest gripe with the film like nail polish is what it exposes from the onset the brilliance of any memorable courtroom drama is the ability for the case and the motives of the characters to unravel as the case develops nail polish for some odd reason exposes the condition of the accused many months after the case as its first scene when you finish the film you realize from a storytelling point of view how unnecessary it was to showcase that and how the film was progressing perfectly in chronological order. order I also feel sometimes creators think by complicating the premise from an editing standpoint it would engage the audience even more but in the case such as this courtroom drama it was not required nail polish also tries to create an insight of how characters are fighting personal battles while dealing with professional pressure so if it is issues in one marriage or the financial condition of one of the lawyers it tries to tell us the personal battles of each characters which individually are convincing but do not contribute to what the film needs in terms of more exploring the case in hand and i thought the connection of the character subplots in connection to the case was rather paper thin the parallels and where it falters without exposing anything regarding nail polish and the eventual plot what the film successfully does is to explore the mental condition of individuals and the question of what contributes to a crime is the body just a physical vessel and the brain the perpetrator or do these elements go hand in hand why i consider nail polish to be a good attempt and a step in the right direction towards compelling courtroom dramas but not an exception personal piece of work is because it explores the triggers and the trauma that overwhelms the human condition only in passing 
I'm walking on eggshells without exposing much. But if you read what the classic film Psycho in 1960 explored with the Freudian concept of uncanny, very well explained by the YouTube creator, is this just fantasy of something that is disconcertingly like oneself and yet completely separate? Nail polish could have explored this concept and fleshed it out much more than it did to become a compelling and exponentially superior film. However, it eventually tethers only to the limit of making the audience play citizen in a game of mafia and trying to come to terms with who may be lying. How to end a courtroom drama What I have to confess with nail polish is that it exactly knows how to end its final act. One of my favorite movies of 2019 was the courtroom drama section 375 and my biggest issue with the film is that it exposed the ulterior motive of a character after an individual has been convicted of the crime. It took away from the frustrating yet beautiful state of letting the audience theorize of what may have happened. Nail polish ends perfectly in not providing closure to the Indian audience, while at the same time still opens it up for debate and discussions, an ideal situation for any thriller, where the fans are still trying to understand what may have transpired. Nail polish is definitely worth your time on Z5 as it is a compelling courtroom drama. It was my prerogative to point out some of its fallacies which I feel hindered it to become an extremely memorable film. However, it is a novel attempt at a crime thriller that will make you respect the performances and what the creators were intending to eventually execute. Here's hoping for 2021 to only get better as the weeks pass by. And that was the video guys, write down in the comments below what you thought about the movie. Please don't forget to follow me on Instagram, the handle's right in front of you, follow me at jammypants4. Also please support us by smashing the like button and subscribing to our channel for weekly content ahead. Thank you for watching.